Hey, my babies, my soul tribe, my darlings. It's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. <laughs> welcome, babies. Welcome, welcome. Newbies in between them. I oh, geez. Okay. I am so grateful for each and every one of you guys. I'm always sending each and every one of you guys so much love healing, good vibes, okay? And I am so grateful for all of your love, support, all of your donations too that you give me. Oh my God. And I am deeply appreciative of all of the energy exchange, darlings, okay? I do want to remind you guys that my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into my readings, it will resonate accordingly. And just remember, to only take what resonates out of the message, darlings, okay? I am just blessed. And I am deeply appreciative. And I want you guys to know that of each and every one of you guys. And I'm not always able to comment back because I am so busy. And I am also raising two beautiful boys. But know that... Every time you comment, every time you like, every time you share, every time you show me love, even if the video does not resonate at that point in time, and you still show love, know that I am giving it back a thousand fold, babies. And for each and every one of my readings, you will be protected, me as well, by Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael from any evil eye magic or any negative energy or entities that want to beguile or to hinder us in any way. We send it back a thousand fold. Amen, darlings. So let's get to the reading. Hey, my loves. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul family. Welcome, welcome again. Remember, my readings are timeless. So whenever you peer into these readings, it will resonate accordingly, darlings. And remember to only take what resonates, okay? And always claim the good readings. Always claim the good energy because you are the magicians of your life and you can dictate it the way you want it. You understand? We have Pandora on in the background. And we have Kiki Wyatt, If Only You Knew. Wow. So if only you knew how much someone is in love with you, okay? I am getting heavy reconciliation energy. Now, this could be reconciliation with past loves or a reconciliation of a past life, okay? I'm already picking up the energy. Okay, so I'm getting three different scenarios here before the cards even come out. I'm feeling a friend coming through that wants to commit to you. I'm feeling a past love that wants a second chance with you. And I'm feeling that you're either dealing with a past life soulmate, twin flame, or you're about to start dealing with a past life soulmate or twin flame that you have not met on this 3D plane yet. But you guys are connecting in the 5D. Okay? Now this friend, you've never had a commitment with this friend is what I'm hearing. Maybe friends with benefits. You know, maybe you guys have went out and had some fun together. Spent some time together. But this person never fully committed to you in any way. It was platonic. All right? Um, but this person would do th certain things or show certain body languages that kind of made you question, like, does this person like me more than just a friend? Okay. Yes, they always have is what spirit is saying, but they had a lot going on in their life, responsibilities, obligations, or focused on their career and they didn't want to string you along. They didn't want to break your heart or they didn't want to mislead you. Even though they saw you as their future, they let you go. I guess that saying goes, if you love it, you let it go. If it comes back, it was meant to be. That's how this friend 
feels towards you, but they're going to come towards you because this friend was non-committal in the past, but they're ready for commitment with you. All right. The second message is a past love, whether you're, this was a spouse that you got a divorce from, you know, I'm hearing common law, you lived with this person, okay, a partnership, a companion of some sort, they want a second chance, okay, and they are coming forth to reconcile, or you could have already reconciled, and like I said, the last message, you are already dating, or you have decided to commit to someone new, and this is a soulmate, a higher level soulmate or a twin flame from your past life, okay? Now, I'm getting a message, you know, your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels, and God is allowing these individuals to come into your life because they have done that work to transform, to heal, to change, to shift their reality and they are aligned to be a healthy partner for you if you choose okay for some of you it's all three okay that want to come back or that you're dealing with so you could be dealing with someone new this is a past life soulmate and then you have your past love that wants to reconcile and a friend for others of you it's either or okay we have Fantasia lose to win. Ooh. So I'm feeling like these people feel like they had to lose you, let you go, you know, give you that time you needed in order to win you back, in order to work on themselves so that they can come back stronger to win you. You feel me? Sometimes you got to lose in order to win. So yeah, either one message resonates or they all may resonate with you. But whether it's one person or all three, they feel like they had to lose you to win you back because they had to heal their own issues, their own trauma, their own negative behaviors, their own wounds, mother wounds, father wounds, abandonment wounds, trust issues in order to be that healthy partner for you. Because you're always doing that shadow work. They're watching you. They're trying to catch up. Because either all three of them don't want to lose you, or you could just resonate with one of them. They don't want to lose you, baby. They never felt a love like this. And that's why I just said, if you love that person, you got to let them go sometimes. And if it's meant, they'll come back. Okay? All right, let's get some cards and see what's going on, babies. Let's see what's going on. Okay? Yeah, this person wants to come back and have some good times with you, baby. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And like I said... Your angels, your spirit team, your ancestors, okay? God is letting you know this is protected, baby. It's okay if you choose to interact with these individuals, these people that want to come back, okay? these For some, it's exes. For others, it's just a past life, but you've never met this person in this lifetime, okay? You are safe and divinely guided. It's being divinely guided. Now, you... Could be choosing between these three is what I'm hearing or just one message pertains, okay? So you see where you fit in, okay? So we have, wow, here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. We have time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. And then we have leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Yeah. I'm hearing when these exes or new soulmates, you know, who you may figure out who your true twin flame is for some of you guys, because you've never met this person yet, but they're from a, your past life, of course. So when they come forth, it's going to be instant 
chemistry, instant magnetic attraction. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, like I've known you before. If you've never met your twin flame or you've mistaken your twin flame for someone else is what spirit is saying, okay? When it comes to a past love or a friend, they're ready to reconcile with you because they feel like you are their true love. Now, all of these options could feel like you are the one. You are their true love. Or again, you could only resonate with one, okay? But they feel like, you know, you're their true love. They're ready to come back and commit to you. They've had the time that they needed to heal and, you know, get their self-esteem together, get their career together. I'm here to get their life together, okay? So that they can be a really good partner for you. Because these options feel like you are a really good partner to be with, okay? And they don't want to mess it up with you. Okay, so whatever message resonates, they're ready to take a leap of faith. Okay, now some of you have already reconciled. Some of you are already dealing with this um, higher level soulmate or your twin flame that you have realized is your real twin flame from your past life. Okay, or you've given this friend, you know, a chance and everything is going great. Okay, it is safe to get to know this person. Okay. If all three of them are after you, of course, only one is going to be picked. Whoever you pick, you know, it's safe to love this person. It's safe to move forward with this person. That is your true love. And you will pick the right person, Spirit is saying, okay? Because through your time apart, you also had the time to truly evaluate, to heal, and to determine what you really want out of love. To learn those lessons, to heal from those lessons, to forgive, you know, to release, to purify so that you can bring in your true love, whether it's a reconciliation or someone completely new that is from your past life. Remember, I did state in one of my readings that your ancestors got your back. So if your twin flame didn't want to arise to their divinity, you are being set up with a past life, higher level soulmate. Okay. Now you could be dealing with that person now. When you basically broke it off, you healed, you needed that time apart to just truly regain your independence, you know, to regain your self-worth, to sit in your self-worth, to know what you deserve, to know that you are good enough and that you deserve love, okay? You deserve what you want and you deserve to be treated the way you want to be treated, not how people want to treat you, no, okay? Let's get some more. Yes, healing popped out. Also, I saw stability. So yeah, I'm trying to tell you these options, okay, they're coming back stable and healed, all right? Whether all three of them pertain to you or just one. Healing, okay? Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting, yeah. And that's what they did before coming towards you okay because i feel like these options are ready and spirit is saying you can take a leap of faith when they come towards you it's okay all right you've had enough time apart to gain the clarity you need so and you've had enough time to heal and it may be a little scary but just push that fear aside and know that you're ready baby okay we have new love whether this is a new love a higher level soulmate, your real twin flame from the past life that you're actually meeting in the 3D because you're already connected in the 5D, all right? Or this is a reconciliation, yep. We have apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear, yep. Taking accountability, knowing that, you know, it was their fault on why you guys broke up or why you left them, why you ghosted them, why you needed time apart, why you didn't want to make this work anymore, okay? Um, you basically severed ties with this friend because maybe you were developing feelings and you knew this friend was non-committal and you didn't want to break your own heart, okay? This friend didn't give you any type of lead that they wanted something more with you but they always held it in their heart is what I'm hearing. If you resonate with that message, 
But whether it's the friend or whether it's a past love, with this apology, they definitely are taking accountability in regards to hurting you in some form and fashion, misleading you in some form and fashion. And they want to come back, take accountability and give you justice. Okay. That new love that is from a past life. Okay. They don't want to disappoint you. Okay. They don't mind taking accountability. They don't mind saying, I'm sorry. Okay. So you won't have that issue out of this. If you're dealing with a new love that is from a past life. So this is a past life soulmate or your real twin flame. Okay. Because they're awakened to who you are and what you mean to them. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. I feel like both of y'all underwent a spiritual transformation, okay? But you are in the lead and these options are catching up. I'm trying to tell you, some of you guys have all three of these people chasing after you energetically and they're about to chase after you on the 3D plane, okay? And for others, it's just one particular situation is what I'm hearing. But they're all awakened to how amazing and special you are. You truly are, baby. And to be honest, it is a privilege and a blessing to have you as a long-term for life spouse, friend, partner, you know, everything when it comes to companionship. And... This friend doesn't want to let you go. They want to come back. They don't know if you're dealing with anyone, but they're still going to come and shoot their shot. Okay. They feel like your energy is like no others. It's very healing. And they haven't come across anyone that has that type of energy. Okay. Even if they claim to be, I'm hearing a divine feminine or a divine masculine, baby, your energy speaks for itself. Whether you knew that or not in the past, maybe you didn't. Maybe, you know, I'm just hearing like you had a lot of healing to do. So you didn't know how powerful you are in the past. You didn't know how not only beautiful, but healing, radiant, and just unique you really are. You didn't even know you were a chosen one, but you do now. And these options do as well. And I'm, just, I'm trying to tell you this friend, if they're dealing with other options, no other option compares. Of course, those other options, they may know about you because that friend could have been raving about you. And yeah, they jealous. Yeah, they haters, but it just is what it is, right? This friend don't care. They want to come back and they want to tell you their truth. Okay. I feel like this friend has always been in love with you, but... You're a sweetheart, okay? You're a good person and they knew that and they didn't want to break your heart. Even though they kind of did because I feel like the more time you spent with this friend, if this resonates, okay? You had a crush on this friend and you wanted something more with this friend. Like, you could have even told this friend, like, listen, I'm, I'm falling in love with you, but the friend didn't reciprocate the energy. And they did that because, one, they weren't ready for it. And they really didn't want to break your heart. Two, this friend had all these other options and had a secret commitment for some of you guys. Is also what I'm hearing. So it wasn't right for them to put you in that circumstance or situation is what I'm hearing. But they're coming back around. They're spinning the block. They're sending for you because now they're ready. They're single. I'm hearing, um, bag a lady. You can't. So they're basically baggage free. Okay, and they're ready. And they don't want no more fake love or superficial love from these other options because they feel like you're the real deal. Okay, now that past love, of course, they're going to, you know, I'm hearing barter with you. They're going to absolutely do what you want them to do because they want you back. They have not found you anywhere else. I mean, like they were supposed to. There's only one you. There will never be a replica. But they uh, ran into options that was trying to be like you. Okay. Or they had some similarities if they weren't trying to copy you. But some of these options, it's like this ex would tell these options about you or pillow talk about you. And then the options would go look you up and then they would become intimidated. They would be instantly become jealous or envious and they would try to copy you, but no one's you, baby. And others, they just could have probably looked like you, sounded like you, maybe had the body image 
of you, but they were never you, baby. And this person is like, oh, please take me back. And like I said, spirit and your angels and your ancestors is allowing, you know, this person back into your life or these people because one, they have truly changed their ways. Two, they didn't do any hoogly boogly to try to bring you down in any type of form and fashion. Um, these, you know, individuals, okay, whether it's all three or it's one that you relate to, okay, the message, they always were proud of you. I mean, you know, they were a little bit jealous because of how talented, how beautiful, how handsome, how gifted, you know, how magical you are. Everything always works out for you. You are very lucky. You're chosen. But all in all, they always wanted the best for you is what I'm hearing. And they're very sorry if they came off like they didn't support you or, you know, that they were jealous of you. They're sorry that they took you for granted in whatever way that they did. They're sorry for breaking your trust if that also happened in the connection, okay? But they've done a lot of healing themselves on this time apart. And you're going to be surprised how this person acts towards you coming back in. You're going to be like, whoa, is this real or are you putting on a facade? Like, this person is going to be more affectionate, more attentive. You know, if they took forever to text you back, they're going to start texting you back quicker. Like, you're going to see, feel, and energetically know that this person is all for you. Okay? Is what I'm hearing. So we got um, August Alcina, Chris Brown. Um, I want to hold you down. So this person absolutely wants to be your rock. Okay? You are always strong. You're always a guiding light. You're always healing and the rock for everyone else. But who is your rock is what they are, you know, questioning. And they don't really feel like you have a strong support system. And they want to be that strong support system, right? They want to be your best friend. They want to be your confidant. You know, they want to be your hero in a sense because you're always everyone else's hero. You're always giving love and advice. And you're always giving out so much kindness when it comes to your energy. You're such a really good person. I was about to say such a kind person, but you're a really good person. And... I'm trying to tell you, some of you guys, it's all three energies. And for others of you, it's just one of these energies. But I can't differentiate. The point of case is, whatever the case, you know, they want to be there for you because they don't feel like anyone else is in your corner, okay? Who I am tapping into, you could be a hermit, you could be a loner, okay? You could have been lied to, manipulated, used, abused for a long time by many people. And this has created deep trust issues. And maybe you don't trust easily, okay? And I feel like these options know that. This person knows that. And they want to be patient with you. They want you to know that it's okay to cry, that it's okay to continue to heal with me. I will not judge you. I will love you. I will nurture you. I will attune to help you heal and not trigger you is what I'm hearing. And if they did in the past, if they came across insensitive or cold, they are very sorry. Especially a past love or a friend. They are very sorry if they came across across cold or just like kind of like heartless i'm hearing how could you be so heartless so like you could have felt either this friend or this past love became very cold and heartless and it's because unfortunately they were you know flirting which they shouldn't have been flirting um they were dabbling into behaviors that they shouldn't have, is what I'm hearing. And this broke your trust. I'm hearing for some of you guys, you don't know if you should take this past love back. That's why I said in the beginning, it's okay if you choose 
to go with a higher level soulmate that is from your past life or a friend. If you don't want to take this past love back, you don't want to give them another chance because maybe you've given them multiple chances. Okay. If you don't want to take this friend back because you feel like, well, I saw, you know, them out here dating all these other women, but they literally just looked over me or all these other men, but they just literally looked over me. Like, I'm not trying to hear that shit. That's what I'm hearing y'all say. So, you know, it's truly up to you. But these three energies, I am heavily feeling is three energies in your energy. But everybody don't have three energies. So it's for some of y'all, it's three energies. You know, a friend, a past lover, and a higher level soulmate or your real twin flame from the past life. Okay? Or it's one. And... They've been watching you, baby. And they are going to come forward. If they haven't already. Now, if you're already in a new love dynamic with a higher level soulmate or your real twin flame, you know, you still have a friend and past loves that want to come back. Now, some of these people can live at a distance is what I'm hearing, but they're willing to risk it all. Yep, because they're awakened to who you are. Divine feminine, divine masculine is what I'm hearing. And they feel like you're their equal. All of these energies, these three different energies, they feel like you're their equal. They're chasing you energetically already. But let's get some, some more, okay? Let's get some more. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we have pretending here. I am pretending to be happy and that's all and fine, but I'm miserable. Yeah. So you have, wow, that's a lot of cards. We won't take it though. While you have, you know, these three energies, if they're not reconciled with you, not this new love though. The new love is not miserable. Okay. So if you're single and you're wanting new love, you know, a higher level soulmate or your real twin flame is about to come into your life and that's your true love okay but i'm really feeling a friend and a past lover is pretending like their life is like just the shit it's put together but truly they're fucking miserable and this friend if you've ever had sex with this friend like you have healed or transmuted their negative energy which allowed them to go back into their own life and manifest like freely so you have this transformative, mutable, you know, energy, this healing energy that when you have sex with your partners, it's like you take on their demons in a sense. You take on their bad energy and you transmute it. Now, it does affect you. You might get sick. You might be down for a day, but it literally helps that person when it comes to their manifestations you know, how they feel about themselves, attracting better partners because they're ingesting your energy. They're ingesting your healing energy through sex. So this friend definitely realized that. Like, oh shit, I had sex with the collective. When I was connected to the collective, my life was going like so, so good is what I'm hearing. I heard so much better, but so good. So they want you for life. Now, is it for your healing energy or is it because they feel like you are the one? Their true love. I'm hearing it's both. They're addicted to your healing energy, but they feel like you are the one for them. Now, for that past lover, yeah, they're sorry for whatever they did, man. I'm not really getting the new love that you are dating or you are committed to as much. It's like that energy is sitting on the sidelines and allowing this friend in this past love to kind of like, I'm hearing declare their love for you because it seems like that high level soulmate. Okay. That is the backup. That's what they are. The backup. But if your twin flame or the person that you were meant to be with gets their shit together and they align with you, you'll be with that person. But if not, you have, I'm hearing higher level soulmates 
that is ready to come in and love you the way you deserve. Now, for others of you, like I said, you were dealing with a karmic twin and it's a real twin flame. Your real twin flame is coming into your life. Now, they could also be sitting on the sidelines, I'm seeing as well, allowing you to love yourself. Realize that maybe this friend or this past love is not your person and the twin flame is. Okay. Oh my God, I'm getting so many messages. So let's just get to the messages here, right? So we have reconciliation, okay? I'm working up the courage to ask you out on a date here and now. Yeah, so someone wants to reconcile with you, a friend, a past love, or you're coming into a commitment from a past life, a soulmate, your real twin flame, okay? Oh, please put yourself where you belong. All right, because some of you guys are meant for a friend. Some of you guys are meant to reconnect with a past love. Some of you guys have been dealing with a karmic twin flame, you know, karmic soulmates. And, you know, your real high level soulmate or your real twin flame is coming in now. Okay, that's true love. For some of you, you're already dealing with a high level soulmate or your real twin flame. And you've already come into union with them. That's your true love. All right. Now, we also have, wow, I love you here. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say. Yeah. Through this time apart, okay, through you letting go of past relationships that did not serve you, through you learning your lesson and truly aligning to the love you want, right? Because we are what we attract. So if you want to attract better, you have to do that inner work so you can... I'm hearing, you know, level up your vibration, your energy, your aura. So you can align. But I'm hearing these options, they love you. This friend, this past love, this um, past life soulmate, twin flame. They're in love with you. Um, some of them are at a distance, but they all watch you. Now, like I said, it could be either or. All right, please put yourself where you belong. But through this time apart, they realize, you know, that they're completely in love with you and they don't want to lose you. They want a second chance, friend or past love. Um, I feel like if you're dealing with someone new, I feel like the time apart when it comes to when you guys are busy working or you're not able to spend time together, you know, it makes the heart grow fonder is what I'm hearing. Okay, so if you're in a new commitment with a higher level soulmate or your true twin flame, that is your true love. When you guys are working, busy, you know, you're attending to your responsibilities, their responsibilities. If y'all have separate kids or a kid together, okay, for some of y'all, um, oh, they just look at your pictures. They just daydream about you. They fantasize about you. And it makes them fall in love even more. You know, absence makes the heart go fonder. Now, we have empathy. Clarifying the leap of faith. Okay. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. Yeah. And now they're ready to come back. This friend is past love. Okay. Now, like I said, when you just spend time apart from this twin flame or this higher level soulmate, they miss you, man. They're like, I miss your vibe. You're so fun. You're so, you know, live. So you can be very funny. You can always let your inner child run free. You know, you are who you are. Accept me or, you know, don't accept me. Oh, well, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> but it's like they want to go to the party with you. Right, whether it be a family function or their friends' party, they want to maybe you want to come because <laughs> you're very, I'm hearing extroverted introvert. Okay, um, they love your personality, they love how you sync well with people. Okay, they love your advice, they love your comfort. Okay, they love the love you give. You're an earth angel, it's just oh, nobody do it like you, baby. Okay, and when they're not around you, they just fill a void, okay? But for that friend and that past love, 
ever since you have cut your energy off, ever since you have, you know, chose to focus on yourself and what makes you happy and your peace and your healing, they realize not only do they love you and the heart goes fonder, but they, <laughs> they don't want to lose you. Like, God darn, I thought it was my energy, but it's your energy the whole time collective that is fueling them, that is um, putting them on this pedestal in everybody else's eyes, okay? Um, that is healing them. Three, 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 three on the clock. They feel like, you know, their life is dull. Nothing is working. You know, I'm just seeing a magician in the reverse. None of their manifestations are coming through. You know, they feel stuck in life. Wow. So then we have lessons clarifying healing. Okay. I am learning my divine lesson and will soon be by your side. Okay. You know, it's your choice. Whatever you choose to do with this person, friend. And ex-lover, let's start with them, okay? They have learned their lesson. They took your love for granted. Um, I'm going to be real. The friend could have thought other options were better after a while. Um, they never gave you a chance. They kind of left you out on the sideline. And I understand why you are saying, well, <laughs> this friend was out here dating who they wanted to date. Gave their energy to who they wanted to give their energy to. Some of your friends could have had babies and full-blown families and left you where you were at so i'm gonna be real a lot of you guys may not take this friend back but it was a lesson you know what i'm saying and this friend has learned their lesson okay that they actually let a divine feminine go Woo, that's a hurt piece because not only is your energy and your um yeah your energy not only is your energy healing and transformative you know, you're very magical, you're mystical, like anybody that is connected to you, they're automatically lucky. You know, shit is always balanced, stable, you know, harmonically going in their favor is what I'm hearing. I wanted to say aura, but it's more so your energy is very, you know, <sighs> I'm hearing out of this world, baby, you don't even know. Okay. Now, when it comes to this new love, you know, this new love is your reward after the lessons, okay? And this new love, you know, they've been through their own lessons. So that's why they're coming in, you know, that real twin flame or that higher level soulmate from the past life. They're coming in ready, okay? They're ready to love, baby. Okay, we have I Choose You. I am sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you. You have that past love and that friend, it's always been you. Now, does that mean that they will get a second chance? No, that's no guarantee. But will they try to come in after, you know, the time apart to try to take a leap of faith, to try to heal the situation and apologize because they want something new with you? They want a new beginning because they're awakened to who you are, Empress? Absolutely, they're going to come in and try to shoot their shot. Okay, you could already be dealing with someone new that you're happy with. And they'll just have to deal with that. Okay. When it comes to this new love, I feel like they just choose you. They see your worth from the beginning, baby, okay? Um, we have caught up by Usher on Pandora. Yeah, I feel like that friend and that ex, they got caught up, baby. In temptation, you're in their ego, and they lost you. So a lot of you guys are enjoying this new love, this higher level soulmate that is coming into your life, or that is in your life, or your real twin flame, Okay. Um, if it's not your real twin flame, it's like I said, your ancestors had a backup plan for you this lifetime and they're giving you this higher level soulmate. I'm hearing everything that you wanted. Okay. Plus more when it comes to this soulmate. All right. We have a divine union, whether it's your twin flame or high level soulmate spirit is saying with this card, you left every part of me untouched. I realize now who you are. Yeah. And then we have commitment. When I think about you, I see a future with you, okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Some of you guys have all three of these energies chasing you. But you could already have started a new commitment. And you are invested. And you don't want this friend, nor do you want this past love. You're okay with this higher level soulmate, or you have truly found your real twin flame. Okay? Um, but that doesn't mean that friend or that past love doesn't want... <laughs> A connection with you doesn't want a second chance. Some of you guys will choose that friend. Some of you guys will choose to reconnect with the past love. It's 
up to you, honestly. I'm just the messenger and I'm just here to tell you how they feel about you. They're in love with you. They want to reconcile with you. You know, you're the whole life of the party. Your energy is a fucking vibe, but it's also a bright ass light. So it's like consuming. And that's why your energy consumes their energy. And that's why people mistaken, even they mistaken your energy for their energy when it's truly your energy. That's how powerful you are. You taught, you know, this friend in this past love many lessons. And maybe that was your, you know, purpose in these individuals' lives, but it could possibly be done and over with. And now you are moved on to someone new that is now going to heal you, that is now going to appreciate you. You don't have to keep, you know, helping people change, shift, transform, you know, teach them lessons. And then you are left high and dry, you know, no more. You've done your, that part of your mission is what I'm hearing. So this friend and this past love, you could have just been in their life to teach them a karmic lesson, okay? To awaken something in them so that they can heal, so that they can transform, so that they can, you know, transcend to their higher self, okay? Because I'm hearing that these could be masculines as well, but they weren't in their divinity. But you came along, God, sent your beautiful angel self in their life to help them transform and change and see their worth. But they got hooked, Okay, and God was telling you or giving you guidance, it's time to move on. And your reward is that true twin flame or that higher level soulmate from your past life. Okay, that chooses you, that is devoted to you. But you have missions and you've co completed that mission when it came to a friend or a past love or past loves. All right. So let's see, let's get a little bit more and let's see what's, what else. But this friend and this past love doesn't want to let you go, even if you're in a new commitment. Now, if you're single and you're dating, one of these options, you know, is your twin flame, is a high level soulmate from your past life. I'll be real. But you still have a friend and your ex that wants to come back. Okay? Please put yourself where you belong. And it's because, you know, everybody can see, you know, even the new people that come into your life if you're dating. They can see your divinity, like you're a divine being, baby. You're a chosen one. Like it's just, it just, it just oozes off of you is what I'm hearing. I hear like it just cascades around you, but it just oozes off of your energy. Let's get some more, okay, of what these people, you know, want to say to you, baby, how they're feeling about you. Okay. They do not want you to let them go, is what I'm hearing. Oh my God, we have protected by love. It says your partner will be protective of you, feeling an obligation to take care of you. Just be sure it's not possessive. I'm trying to tell you all these options. They want you, baby. They want to protect you. They want to provide for you because they know who you are now. I'm going to be honest. You know, a lot of your past partners, they didn't realize who you were who you've always been, this divine feminine, this divine masculine, it's because they weren't healed. But since they've done that healing and learned those lessons, huh, you shining like a star. We have a new addition. Can you stand the ring? Yeah, like these options are like, you know, please, it may get a little tough, but don't give up on me. But I'm going to be real, you know, whether it's the friend of the past love, you are a karmic lesson for either both or one of them. And now since you have learned your lesson, you've healed from that, you know, you don't hold any resentment. You understand the assignment, you know, you get that beautiful divine love that has always been promised to you this lifetime. Okay. But they all, that new love from the past life. Okay. That old love that wants a second chance and that friend, they all want to protect you. They all want you. I feel like, yo, a lot of you, it's all three energies. Cause I'm feeling like that fairy tale romance. This romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a heavily, a happily ever after. Yeah, that's what they want, baby. Yeah, that's what they want. We got common law union. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you that ex that you were living with, they want you back. They feel like you were their happily ever after. They feel like sad. If you don't take them back, if you don't want to work it out, <laughs> if you don't want to stand through the rain, okay, they're like... They don't know what to do because they'll never find another you. Okay? I can't show this card because 
YouTube, but let's try to pick another card here. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like I said, you got that friend too. <laughs> that friend coming through. I can't make it up. Friends first. You're attracting a new love that will begin as a friendship. It will develop into something more. Yeah, that friend. So you got that friend and that ex coming through heavy, but a lot of you guys could have already stepped into higher level soulmate commitments from your past life, okay? That was your backup plan, all right? And, you know, this friend is just going to have to take the L, and this ex may just have to take the L for some of you. If you want this friend, go ahead. If you want this ex back, go ahead, you know what I'm saying? If you're single. But this friend, you know... <laughs> They want to come back and start off as friends first for a little bit, but they're going to really, basically, I'm hearing speed it up to commitment, okay? We have power couple. They all feel like they could be in a power couple with you, all of them, because you're smart, you're a go-getter, you know, you don't wait for nobody. Yes, you wait for divine timing. Yes, you are always working alongside God, your angels, your ancestors, and your spirit team. But you have your own mind, baby. And you make your own choices in life. And you listen to, you know, advice. And you also listen to constructive criticism. But ultimately, you make your choices. Okay? And they love that. You have your own mind. And you have a brilliant mind. I'm hearing awesome ideas you're very talented gifted artistic is also what i'm hearing okay but i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be real y'all you know what i'm saying um whether it's the friend or the past love or both these are karmic loves from a past life i can't make it up okay and you were just in their life to teach them a lesson to help them grow the hell up and now you are in a new commitment, or you're about to be in a new commitment where you're going to be so freaking happy. And I'm trying to tell you, yeah, oh my God. So, okay, 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 okay. Like I said, some of you guys could have been dealing with karmic twin flames, and you probably soar up and down it was your real twin flame. No, baby. No, 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 no. See, you are dealing with karmic soulmates, is what I'm hearing, and a karmic twin flame, okay? That you pretty much had to teach a lesson. But your real twin flame ain't really say nothing yet. Okay? It says unspoken love in twin flame. I don't know if you can see that. It says, you know, your partner may not prefer to profess their love right away. Could be a fear of rejection. Okay? So you're getting to know someone right now that is going to tell you that they love you first. But they're just, you know, going with the flow. This is your twin flame, baby. Your real twin flame. And this person got shmoney. Okay? And this twin flame also had to let go and to heal and to, you know, pick themselves first and heal mother wounds, father wounds, awaken to their divinity and how dope they are too because they were settling. And, you know, it had to be divine timing because this twin flame was dealing with someone that just wanted their money. Okay, yeah, it was fun and all that stuff, but whoever they were dealing with were, was abusive and controlling because we have abusive and controlling, okay? And this person has now connected with you or they're about to connect with you. They're being guided towards you. But you still had now, now for some of you, that friend could be that twin flame. That past love could be that twin flame. It differentiates, so you need to put yourself where you belong. If that friend or that past love is not your twin flame, you are about to, or you are currently connecting with your real twin flame. And maybe you think it's a higher level soulmate. Now for others of you, if you know that past person was your twin flame and they have not arisen to their divinity, and they did all types of shit to you, then the, the backup plan, the soulmate, okay? That is guaranteed to you. Let's get one more. You guys are going to be a power couple. You guys are going to be friends, companions, lovers. Yeah, this person's in love. Emotional affair, okay? They're absolutely in love. They feel like they can just let their walls down with you. They can just confide in you. Like, there's no competition. There's no competing, like... You are for them, they are for you. Whoever you are currently dealing with or you're about to reconcile with or you're with, this is your true love. And it's that feeling like they can sleep good at night knowing that you're loyal and they're loyal to you, okay? Or this friend or this past love 
will feel this way, you know, reconnecting with you because they want to be loyal to you. They want to be committed to you. You're a very loyal person, man. Whoever you choose to dedicate your life to, that's who you're dedicated to, <laughs> okay? Um, also, you're a boss, okay? You got money. You don't brag, but you make it look easy. You make it look easy, baby, okay? And it's because you're very blessed, and it's because you're highly favored because you're so righteous and you're a good person and you give a lot of love and you don't expect anything in return. So you're going to get it back a thousand fold is what I'm hearing. Now, it does say it will be hard to resist an emotional connection with someone who is already involved. You feel me? So you have this friend and this ex that is still emotionally attached to you, but you could already be involved. You feel me? Getting to know a higher level soulmate or your true twin flame. But this friend and this past love, they don't want to let you go, baby. Okay? They don't want to let you go. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you, somebody here as well could be married with children, but they still don't want to let you go. That's what I'm saying. You know, it could be that friend. They could still be, you know, in the process of getting a divorce or they are still married or they're still dealing with other options, but they really want you. Yikes. But they learned that lesson, so they know they can't come towards you with that, okay? Especially if they're still married or going through divorce proceedings or dealing with all these other options. You're not going to be put in no damn third party. Uh, hell no, okay? Um, now, when it comes to that past love, you know, they were flirting, dealing with other options at work or just, you know, randoms is what I'm hearing. Um, while dealing with you and you've had enough. I feel like you really don't trust this person because it says, you know, ch um, married with children. Now, you could have been married or just in a relationship with this person. It says, careful not to get entangled with an unhappily married man. Don't allow yourself to be second place. You feel me? So I feel like, you know, your ex was with you, but then entertaining other people, but they never put them first. They always put you first, but not really. You feel me? Because they were dealing with other options, they were treating you cold or just different. And you had enough. And you was like, I'm out. Picking yourself. You taught a couple of people lessons. I'm going to be real. And that's what they just going to have to suck it up and take with them this lifetime. And that's all they were supposed to be, a lesson in your life. And by you just keep... I'm hearing being resilient, just keeping your heart open and pure, despite, you know, the pain of being people's lessons. That's hard. And then you're basically being walked away from or you have to walk away. And it seems like, you know, you're getting the shit into the stick. But no, spirit was like, we got you. And they here and now are bringing in a new love for you. And that's that real twin flame or a reassigned twin flame is also what I'm hearing. Or that backup plan, higher level soulmate from your past life, okay? We have her on every kind of way. Absolutely, they're going to love you in every kind of way. You deserve it. You'd have been through hell and back, baby. You're a chosen one. And chosen one's lives are not easy. Not in love and not in finances and not in life. But once you pass those lessons, once you pretty much become the example, whether you want to be that example or not, um... You get that reward when it comes to financial abundance and abundance in love. I am really feeling like either you have that new love coming in or you're already connected with that new love. And you have a friend and an ex is, not just one, ex is that, you know, could have tried to put you in the friend zone or they could have been acting single while they were with you. Like I said, that friend just never expressed how they felt where it was dating all these other options, thought that I guess they could find someone that had healing power like you, and they never can, could, will, is what I'm hearing, okay? Oh, yeah, some of these people could be long distance, baby dolls. Okay, let's get a little bit more, because we newsy. Let's get a little bit more. But let's see real quick, the friend, right? Let's get a card for the friend. Let's get a card for each friend get a card for the friend please and thank you spirit the friend so unexpected outcome things didn't go the way I planned yeah so it's like the friend I guess planned to come back or spin the block it's not gonna happen okay yep they ran 
and it's because they weren't ready for a commitment. But you have completely glued up. You have stepped into your empress or emperor power and it's amazed. They're amazed. It's amazing. They're amazed. They didn't expect this shit. But you were their lesson. Let's go. For the ex-lovers. Love and lovers. Woo! Dishonesty, baby. By lying, I ripped us apart. Yeah, you were that person's lesson too. Let's get to the new love. The higher level soul bait. That real twin flame. Let's get to it, spirit. Okay. Ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Okay. With this card, what I'm truly feeling. Yeah, they don't want it. That's exactly what I heard. Why I say that? Because we have commitment at the bottom. It's like this person doesn't want their ego to get in the way. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. Okay. Hell no. You are too precious. You are too special. And we don't need to do that. So, yeah. You have this past life soulmate, twin flame coming in. Or you already are dealing with this person. You're already dealing with this person. Yep. I want you to be a part of my future. Yep. Give me one more for the, the new love. That new love spirit. Oh, 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 oh. irreplaceable. I can't make this up. That's why they're not in their ego. See, this person already had an ego death on their own. Okay? Um, the way you love can never be matched. Can never be matched. And sometimes they feel unworthy. All right? And it's something that they got to keep healing. Right? Working on. You are a better person than I am. And they look up to you. You're their muse. But that doesn't mean that they're going to do anything to hinder the connection with you. Hell no. They're chasing you, baby. Didn't I say that? They are chasing you. But this twin flame higher level soulmate, I don't want to chase anymore. I want you. You feel me? That's why they're coming through. But they are also chasing you. Yep. All right, guys. So let's get some of what they want to say, okay? So it looks like the friend didn't expect you to pretty much be this empress, emperor energy, okay? That's, <laughs> I'm hearing one of the reasons why they could have left as well. Even though they have feelings for you, it's very, very interesting, okay? But they also could have been married and dealing with all these other options. It's just too much drama, too much bullshit, too much baggage. Um, even though they're, you know, slowly letting that go, it's... If you want to be their friend, cool. That's why um, God and your angels is allowing them back in your energy. But when it comes to anything more, no. When it comes to these exes, they were lessons. You know, they were rehearsal for the real thing. The real thing is that high level soulmate, that twin flame, that real twin flame, okay, that resides in their divinity, that knows how to love and give love, right? Um, you're connecting with this person. Dating, commitment, or you soon will fall winter is what I heard. Um, we have Music for Love, Mario. So let's get some of what they want to say. And then we're going to get some initials, okay? What they want to say. It's three prominent energies here, heavy, okay? I really was not prepared for this. That's how the friend feels, okay? Um, you see right through me when it comes to that ex. I don't even recognize who I am anymore. Mm -hmm. Because you... Like give these people tower moments. You pretty much take the mask off and allow them to see themselves for who they really are, not for who they're pretending to be, right? And it's to the point where it makes them want to change, okay? But this friend was like, oh shit, you were completely unexpected. I didn't expect you to be this type of energy because it's really your energy and you're beautiful. You know, you've always been attractive, regardless. But it's like the more you heal, the more attractive you become. Some of you guys shift. Your, your, your look shift is what I'm hearing. In a good way. Okay, like if you had a bigger nose, your nose got smaller. You know, if you had thinner lips, your lips, your lips got bigger. Your face structure kind of morphed. You could be doing subliminals as well as what I'm hearing. But it's just, it's like you're transforming into the person you're always meant to be. Maybe you had an ugly duckling phase for some of you guys. Maybe that's why this friend didn't want you. Huh? Baby, you look good. You always did, to be honest with you. Like, the hell? 
And the friends feel like I don't want to be controlled. Like they don't know if you're controlling or not, but you're not, okay? And they're realizing that. Like control who? Who does that? Like control yourself. You know? Like who has time for that shit? You can't control nobody. You can't change nobody. That's a waste of time, right? Let's see what this from Flame feels. Is it is not what it seems, I promise. Told you this toy flame wants you, baby. Okay, it's better, is what I'm hearing. I replay that conversation over and over again in my head. So they love, you know, texting you, conversating with you, the advice you give, the chemistry, you know. You're so smart to this person. Like, let's see what else. I wonder if I am really capable of being who you deserve. Yeah, I, I, the unworthy. Didn't I say... You know, the unworthy card here. So sometimes they get in their own way and they feel like, oh, I don't know. Am I worthy? Because you are just the bomb, you know? Yeah, I'm here to gas you up, but the shit true. You are the bomb. Like, let's be real here. It says, I wonder if I'm really capable of, you know, oh, yeah, we read that already. <laughs> it says, there is something different about you. I like that. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? I wasn't being true to myself or to you, okay? Because they were just a little nervous. So they put on a little masky mask. But it wasn't a mask that was like going to hinder this connection. Maybe they just didn't fully open up. But they are now, baby, okay? I feel safe with you because I know you care about me for who I really am. You feel me? Baby, you got this new love though, man. And you got, you know, an ex-friend. And ex is tripping. Because they want you back now that you have blown up. Now that you are fully in your power. Now that you have proven to be who you truly are. Which is this beautiful divine being that is not only unforgettable, impressionable, but untainable and untouchable. You feel me? Like, stop playing. <laughs> like, let's stop playing here. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get some advice for each. Okay? We're going to get some advice for each from the universe. And then we're going to get some initials. Okay. So, hold on. So, yeah, you got... I really feel like you got three prominent energies. And we have music child. Music, sorry. <laughs> music child. <laughs> music soul child. Love. They all in love with you. That's the craziest part of it all, right? They all in love with you. But the healthiest love is that... Past life, soulmate, twin flame. That's the one God wants you with, baby. Okay, that twin flame that has healed. Not that karmic twin flame, okay? Now, the friend spirit, give us one. Talk to a spirit. Give us one for this friend. It says, knock, knock. I'm trying to tell you, they still going to come. Yep, they still going to come. What about these past lovers? These past lovers. See, I got your back spirit is saying, don't worry. They're going to come. They're going to knock, knock. But we got your back, okay? If you don't want to deal with them, block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to, you know, be friends with this friend no more. If you don't want, you know, to deal with any of these past people, block. We got you. You know what I'm saying? That's what spirit is saying. I got you, baby. All right? They're going to come knocking. Why wouldn't they? I mean, chum. You're a real loss. Like, you are a real fumble. For real, for real. Okay? Now, when it comes to this, you know, past life, higher love, higher level soulmate, twin flame, give us some when it comes to this person here. Ooh, we got the F word. So, what I heard was, fuck yeah. That's what I heard. And it has leaping in love at the bottom of the deck. Yup. I heard, fuck yeah. Yup, see, magnetizing me. This person is magnetized by you, but this person is awesome as well. Very magnetizing. And you're mosing right along, right? You just go with the flow. That's what that means. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know what I'm saying? Go with the flow. And, you know, these past people are going to come knocking, but we got you, baby. This is protected is what I'm hearing. Yup, you're going to be living large and taking charge, big boy. <laughs> Yep, and we're at your service. So spirit is always there. You know what I'm saying? To give you the 
confirmation and clarity that you need in regards to each person. You know, like I said, whether it's one circumstance or situation that resonates or all three, baby, I really feel like it's all three, but you know, you're going to know what to do, baby. You're going to know what to do. I feel, let me clarify. What's up with this friend? Yeah, it's, it's over. Time out. Time's up. Time out. It's over. All right, from this past loves. But yeah, you once brand spanking new. So that's why we got your back. No, this person's dishonest. Okay. A silver lining. So it's something good that is going to come out of all of this. Because I'm trying to tell you, you were the karmic for these past loves and this friend. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, God is going to allow them to come knocking. But if you don't want to be their friend, if you don't want these people in your life, you know, we'll just block them. Boop. It's just that simple because you are already dealing with, reconciled with that higher level soulmate, that twin flame. Or you are about to hear it now, baby. So get ready, okay? Get ready, babies. Yes, I split the deck. Everything going to be beautiful. Beautiful. You feel me, okay? Yes. Um, let's get some initials. Of who these people are. All right. So we have L R large. Living large and taking charge. Big booty. I forgot what that was off of. E Y J H A Q U X. Oh, what that fell? C K. E. O. S. C. P. G. N. K. F A N H D R D K L G F U T M M H okay it's like I really do want to pull more but this is the reading baby you have three different um energies chasing after you energetically and they're about to start chasing you physically okay if they haven't already but you'll know who your real high level soulmate twin flame is it's not the friend and it's not the past loves okay now for some of you, it's someone that you possibly could have already been in a relationship with and you're reconciling. Okay, I do not want to dismiss that spirit of saying, but it's not like, you'll know is what I'm hearing, but it's not like past loves that pretty much were very dishonest towards you, okay? But um, yeah, that is the reading, babies. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, bye.